What are early warning systems and how can they be used as a universal screener at the high school level? The dropout problem in this country has become a crisis and we know that it impacts or has the potential to impact all students, but that some students have the higher potential of being impacted by this problem. And because of that, we wanted to develop ways of identifying those students that are at highest risk of dropping out. In Chicago, at the Chicago Consortium on School Research and Johns Hopkins, they started to do research to look at what um, indicators are most highly correlated with those students that drop out of high school. And through that research, they were able to um, identify a couple indicators predominantly related to academic course performance and attendance. In 2008, the National High School Center became very interested in that research and wondered about how that research be taken to practice. And from that, developed um, an early warning system, which was a Microsoft Excel-based spreadsheet that took students' academic and attendance data and identified based on the research or the thresholds identified in the research, which students were at highest risk of dropping out. This tool was really well received. We, it was downloaded by many schools and districts across the country and even two states um, have adopted it and rolled it out statewide. Um, and we really enjoyed the, um, helping schools and working with schools and implementing this early warning system. But what became, became really apparent to us is that it was being done in isolation of other activities at the school level. And so they were identifying these students and it was definitely feeding or informing other activities, but it be kind of came a kind of a dead end process in some regards. So, but also simultaneously we saw a lot of schools who were able to implement it within a process and we wanted to capture that and capture that knowledge. So the National High School Center more recently um, developed a seven stage process for implementing an early warning system and developed um, an early warning system tool version 2.0. The seven stage process of um, implementing an early warning system starting with identifying an early warning system team that would be responsible for using this tool and identifying these students and monitoring them their response to intervention goes through the whole process of using the tool, identifying students, um, analyzing the data, assigning interventions, monitoring the response to interventions, and then being reflective of not only how students were doing, but how is the team working and how is this process being implemented at the school level and continuing to validate the thresholds. The early warning system tool that we recently released is identical in many ways to the original tool in that it uses the same thresholds, the same research base to identify students that are at risk of dropping out, but it incorporates a lot of new features, um, including being able to be contextualized for the school environment, meaning that depending upon how many grading periods, um, the length of each of those grading periods, and then also what kind of ways does that school um, categorize students. So specifically, what kind of um, students with disabilities categories or special education categories are used at the school, um, ELL, disadvantaged. Um, and that's really important because we know, as I said previously, that some students and some student populations are disproportionately represented. And schools really not only need to be able to have the ability to identify those specific students, but then look at those patterns across types of students. And that can help the school um, implement interventions at a really student-specific level, but also can start um, targeting patterns that arise at that school. Um, other new features of the new early warning system tool is um, school and student level reporting. School level reports provide graphical representation of the data, so it's rolled up, it's non-identifiable, can be shared with multiple stakeholders across the school. And then the student level reports show how individual students are doing uh, um, against these indicators and or in response to the interventions assigned. An early warning system like that developed by the National High School Center enables um, teams at the school level to not only um, use readily available data to identify those students that are at highest risk of dropping out, but then 
to react to that data with a series of activities because this just shows that there's a symptom of a problem so they can take that data to then further analyze or explore what could be going on in that for that individual student and with that information then develop intervention plans and monitor that individual student's response to that intervention. Um, the National High School Center's tool actually enables the team to do all of that within that whole process using the same tool in a really kind of user-friendly manner.